this needs to go somewhere. And there goes another one of the things coming off. I need to do some journaling. I've got some stuff to do the studio. A bunch of trash. I got some funny Salty Katie stickers. Uh, uh, what a clusterfuck. Fuck this, fuck that too. Fuck shit, fuck. And ah uh, hell no. Nah. Those are my adulting stickers. Planner. Mahobanichi. Okay, these are gonna have to go in the cart. My art bag, my watercolor. ruler my cards oh my halloween socks i've got on ankle socks right now and i brought those in just in case my medicine and my mints okay that's the cold medicine which i need to take right now it's my last one for the flu stuff i've got cashews and an orange for later i've got coffee it is approximately 55 degrees and 55 degrees Fahrenheit in here with 50% humidity. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm going to I'm eat my breakfast while I listen to The Artist's Way and then I'll start writing, but I don't like to write while I'm eating. So <laughs> I'm just going to listen. I think I'll catch up on comments and then um, I'll go to the actual book and my notebook and I'll be back. The vision seems to suddenly be in place. Hey y'all, how are you? It's Burgess Taylor or Journey with Burgess and it's Preptober. And I just wanted to say I am so glad that NaNoWriMo season is here. Uh, for those of you who've been following me since the beginning, since WriterTube, then you'll know that this month was my nine year YouTube anniversary. My very first video was Preptober, or Preptober. It was actually on the 14th of 2014 on my daughter's birthday. So, nine years later, here we go. I have my NaNoWriMo shirt, my NaNoWriMo hoodie. It's the, zip it's the zipper hoodie, and I have my uh, NaNoWriMo mug. I have my NaNoWriMo bullet journal. This time around, I'm doing things a little bit differently. I started this in April of this year for Camp NaNoWriMo, and I have done a few things. I'm not gonna go into all of the things. I, I have, along the way, gotten a few things. I have Lisa Jackson's Something Wicked. This is actually has to do with a cult, referred to as the colony. So I'm excited about that. I'm also currently reading Stephen King's End of Watch. I got me some hot cocoa, K-cups. <laughs> I have some Death Wish coffee. It's the dark roast with the notes of chocolate and cherry. I also have Walmart's Colombian ground coffee K-cups. Basically, I've just kind of been along and along getting a few things to prep for NaNoWriMo. My we got some things I... that are crock, crock, blah, 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 blah. we got a few things that are crock pot, pot, crock pot friendly. And while I was out at Dollar Tree getting some of the cinnamon hard candies for my husband and I, I came across fun and reward sticker book at Dollar General and some award sticker things from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna show you my... Where's my cover? So I'm going to show you my NaNoWriMo bullet journal. I'm just going to keep going with this one until it's full. As long as I'm writing the creative journaling book, I am very, very tempted to go towards the fiction book. But I really want to finish this creative journaling book. And I also want to work on the creative journaling videos that I want to create for the class. So let's do this. Okay. So I'm going to move this... And these, these are uh, post-it notes. These are index 
post-it notes and then this is the longer version of that i like the yellow uh, because it really stands out and of course these are not actually these are just little note pieces but i love the typewriter i wish it had been in a different color this is my creative journaling book it is a glp creations it said the author which means it is 68 gsm tomo river paper i thought this was adorable <laughs> So I haven't put anything in here yet because I'm still working on that. So this is for now my faux book cover. I put stickers and words and did a bit of collage because I don't know if I want to take a picture of my desk or if I want to take a picture of a journal and the journal open with some supplies. I'm still thinking about the cover. I did have tabs to it though. I created the tabs myself. So these are things, information and things that I'm working on for the book. This is a note to self and these are just some things. This was the spring coffee that I had gotten for Camp NaNoWriMo. Some pictures. This is one of the books and a quote that I found that I really like. This actually came out of a Hobonichi and I love this book. As Edison envisioned and made reality, if you transmit a sound, a vibration in the air to a needle and carve a groove, the sound will be immortalized. And if you then follow the groove with a needle, the sound will be revived. In other words, the phonograph is like a time machine that transcends time and space to bring us a past that should have been lost. That's very much like what a story is. So I've got notes to myself, I'm gonna draw a journal, take a picture. This is my introduction. I um, have some notes to myself and a picture. This is an explanation and these are notes. This is more notes. This is what I want to cover, sort of chapters, because then we get to July's Camp NaNoWriMo and I've got more information and then most of July's is actually in the computer. I've got October here. And that's a piece of poetry. And then here is my calendar for October. So far, my to-dos and my to-buys, I haven't done everything yet. There's going to be another video, but I haven't finished. So then we get to this, which I'm right here. And I'm going to write that out. I just haven't done it yet. And this is my survival kit. It's a, a lot of just things with uh, little stars in between. I've got that post and then I have November and I'll probably get a piece of vellum. And then I've got my November log and my November word count. And that's all I have so far because I am doing a mixture of doing it by hand and doing it on the computer. So I need to list this stuff. And then what I have listed here are things like mug. I have my mug. White chocolate mocha. That's my creamer. Coffee, a thumb drive, lots of crock pot meals, hard candy, snacks, healthy ones like cashews and fruit, water, pistachios, apples with peanut butter, comfy socks, Birkenstock, red wool mules. Those are my bedroom slippers. Also my Converse. Comfy PJs and leggings, hoodies, sweaters, frozen pizzas, bottles of water, charger for MacBook Pro, index post-its, book for downtime, movie night with, I've got movie night and then I've got movie night like with kids, baby wipes, coffee, artist date, a date with David, unplug for a day, alarm every hour to get up and move, candles, hot tea with honey, lip balm, extra pens, extra fountain pen, ink, and red pen. I've got a red pen. Highlighters, notebook for handwritten bits, chocolate, preferably dark chocolate, fruit like tangelos, apples, bananas, blackberries, oranges, blueberries, meditation, printer ink, update Scrivener, meditation music, yoga mat, walk, rainy moods, so I need to bookmark Rainy Moods. Spotify list for Supernatural playlist. Popcorn list of inspiring videos of other Nano Wars. My tarot deck and oracle deck. Create Nano Rimo sketchbook. My tarot writing journal. My morning pages journal. Go to bed early so you can get up early. V8 juice with low sodium. Smoothies. Extra coffees. Cinnamon sticks. A DIY mani pedi. Self care daily affirmations. Uh, word count tracker, accountability partner, have list of contents, chapters, and outline handy, writer's blood, fountain pen, ink, which I have. That's what this is written in. 
where did I leave off? iPad charger, uh, mouse for MacBook, keyboard for MacBook, a bed desk, red bed pillow chair thing. I've already got that. I just need to make sure I have it in the bedroom. A book light, a reward stickers, got those. Reward items like for 1,000 coffee from Starbucks, for 5,000 lunch or dinner date with Mr. Rockstar, 10,000 new fountain pen ink, 20,000 new journal, 30,000 $30 worth of stationary goods, 40,000 coffee artist date at Starbucks with sketchbook. That means I get to watercolor and have some free free time and fun. 50,000 words, winner's t-shirt, and one of the things that is a good survival tactic is writing sprints. And then I wrote down when I finished the book, reward of maybe getting from Fiverr or from one of my friends. I need to get a book cover. Also need to find an editor. I'm going to need to find beta readers. And then when I rewrite and get it all done again and beta readers read it again, I'm going to need to get a editor. So I've got the picture of my Death Wish coffee here. Comfy jeans and t-shirt, pizza, cold pizza club. It says pizza party, sleep in, coffee, laptop, writing. This is a drink for like hydrating. This says girl, take a break. This is artist coffee date. This is offline and disconnect with like meditation. And that's the typewriter. Um, I drew that a long time ago. I have my bookmark, Coffee and Mysteries. I also have another one that says Book Nerd. And then that's pretty much it as far as like what my setup is. Um, I have some things back here that were written in a different journal that's more information. I'm going to go through it and put it in. I'm keeping this. I'm going to keep it up to date. Whether I'm going to do the writing in it or not, I don't know. I also have a small... It's about an A5 slim version of this in the red that's got lined paper in it that I may end up using for the actual writing the novel by hand. I had started writing some of it, just, just ideas and stuff in here, but I real soon realized that I didn't want to take up this whole notebook with writing the book. I'm just like writing bits and pieces and ideas and stuff like that here going to be writing some of my ideas and things like that on these and kind of move them around until I get things how I want them. So it'll be like layouts of like the page, like because this is like represents a page. So if I were doing a layout, I could put one of the little small square post-it notes or something like this one. And then this is chapter and I have like a picture here and it'll be writing and there'll be like a picture. I, I want to kind of figure that kind of stuff out. And I have a manuscript template for, I think they're for Kindle books. So I'm, I'm kind of excited. I, I haven't really done any of that. I'm on the right track. I'm heading in the right direction. I have lots of uh, post-it notes and other colors, so I, I don't know if that I'm going to color code, but I've got the award stickers. I've got other notebooks that are far more detailed with the hero's journey and that uh, diagram with the triangle, you know, going up the mountain and down. I've got the one with the two triangles. I've got the one with the one triangle. I've got the one with the three triangles. So I haven't really put a lot of that in here. Uh, because this is really more of a non-fiction. So I'm not really following the hero's journey, but I am following the hook and things like that. While I was at my doctor's appointment, for example, I started writing first lines because I've got an introduction. And so I've got some examples of first lines and that's it. I am going to create a playlist for Spotify. It'll be more than just supernatural music. I do like to listen to classic rock. I love the show Supernatural. As a matter of fact, I have John Winchester's journal somewhere. One of the ways that I am preparing and have been preparing for this journey with the creative journaling book is by getting different journals. This is Kurt Cobain's journal. 
This is John Winchester's journal. I've got May Sarton's Journal of a Solitude. I've got a nice Nin's journal. I've got Sylvia Plath's journal. I've got, oh, I don't know, a whole bunch of different journals by different people. We even got a couple of memoirs. That was one of the things I wanted to do is collect some different journals that I felt like were creative and were inspiration. Um, Kurt K. Baines is, um, this is the revised one with new material. One of the other things, since we're on a supernatural, I have three different supernatural tarot decks. This is a handmade, no longer available. It was for sale on Etsy and the guy did fantastic work. This is just the Major Arcana and I like these. These are more picture inspiration. I can use them. And then this is the actual tarot deck, Supernatural. Includes a fully illustrated 78 card deck with 128 page guidebook. It is uh, Insight Editions is what it says. I've been using tarot to write for a very long time. I've taken Arwen Lynch's Mapping the Hero's Journey with Tarot course. I have her book, 33 Day. I've taken her 33 Days to Finish Your Book. This is the Writer's Block Tarot. This was a Kickstarter. And these are the tarot cards that go with. They're, they're quite different than what you would imagine. It's really interesting. I like using this. And then this is tarot for the fiction writer. This is tarot in focus, tarot your personal guide. It's just uh, got information about tarot. This is the storyteller's tarot. I've had this one for a long time. Uh, and this is tarot for writers. I also have astrology for writers and I also have tarot and astrology mixed. So this, as you can see, it is worn. I have used the... <laughs> so these are part of my survival kit for NaNoWriMo. And I have uh, these Doodle Tarot. It's a study deck. I find it very interesting and it looks like a composition book. I love them. So this will make it really easy whenever I pull cards for uh, things you know, to look up in, the, in this deck. I also have a regular Rider weight, a couple of different Rider weight decks. I also have two different ones that I really love. This is the Unfolding Path Tarot. And then I also have the Light Sears Tarot. These are both beautiful works of art, the cards. And then I also have Molly Roberts Art Magic Deck, Inspiration Deck for Creativity. I really like these. And this is my Roots and Wings Oracle Deck by Cat Riles. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cards. And then one of the last things that I have as far as like for self-care stuff, this is Daily Practices and Inspiration for Caring for Yourself. It's a year of it. So it's got the month. This is October. So for each day, we have something going on. So I have, I have this <laughs> right here for November. And then I have my journal. This is my studio journal. This is a B5 Stology and the cover is a Salty Katie cover. I have my cork cover from Brie that the whole thing goes in. And I have watercolor paper right there for what I want to do. So this goes inside of here. I do stick it in in there, but I don't want to, I really don't want to mess up Bree's cover. I love this cover, and I have a lot of things that are B5, a lot of different things that are B5. I could technically put this in here, and I may end up doing that for NaNoWriMo. And this kind of goes hand in hand with what I'm doing. So we have a contents page. I think I missed a page. <laughs> yeah. So we have November through... This is 2023, this is 2024. I've got surround yourself with things you love and that inspire you. This is blank because I am going to do a vision board. This is the introduction. Failures are finger post on the road to achievement, C.S. Lewis. This is October. I'm actually a little bit behind right here. I had the flu of last week. And then today, earlier today, I had an appointment with the cardiologist. So I'm just a little bit behind right here. You can see I've got that. So I didn't put yesterday and Monday I had a half day. So I had sick days here. So I'm just a little bit behind. I've got these things. So I have to put what I'm doing with the 
Um, these are the Oracle cards that I pull for inspiration. Another thing that I have started doing is putting in that self-care, like the affirmation and the thing, the prompt for each day as part of this page. I have a quote. This says, creativity itself doesn't care at all about results. The only thing it craves is the process. Learn to love the process and let whatever happens next happen without fussing too much about it. Work like a monk or a mule or some other representative metaphor for diligence. Love the work. Destiny will do what it wants with you regardless. Elizabeth Gilbert. So this has got like a bunch of different quotes and all different kinds of things. Like this is Bree's signature with her little tree right here. This is fragile handle with care. Thank you. This is a to-go coffee cup, some coffee monster co. This is a quote. Power is in the balance. This says inspiration and ideas. It takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. Every space is a work in progress, alive with possibilities. She combines words, art, and text. She has a talent for keeping things minimal and spacious, and we wanted to know how she does this in her work. That is not me. <laughs> There's like a lot of different things in here, some star, all different kinds of things, things that inspired me, all different kinds of things. This is a thing from Hobonichi. This is the little card with the colors that I got from the Letter Sparrow art toolkit thing that I ordered. I think that was the summer edition. I love the colors and the, the, her watercolors are handmade. I have some other studio journals, but they're different. So I have one studio journal where I'm chronicling things that I change in the studio. I have one creative studio journal where I've got a lot of different swatches. I've got things that came in. For example, this goes to the, my camera. I had to order a new one. So whenever I take this out, I will be putting this in there and I will either draw one of these and put it in there or I will uh, just use this to put other things in. I don't know. I may glue it down this way and just put things in it. I like to put um, things like this, anything that comes in the studio and then some of the things that go out of the studio. So like if I send something or... I make something, I will do that. Like for this, um, a couple of things fell off. When I created this, I will end up taking this apart and putting this in that creative and, journal using what I glued on there. I, no, I don't have fancy bags necessarily. Um, if they come with a, a fancy little bag, <laughs> then that's fine but i had a bunch of these this is the crown royal apple but i have some of the purple ones and i use them as tarot bags my husband laughed at me when i first started doing this but it works great so that's it y'all i i hope you uh, enjoyed the video let me know in the comments if you are participating in NaNoWriMo. Let me know also in the comments if you've been following me since back in the day with WriterTube. And I'm going to use that hashtag in here. I am going to be doing some writing sprints in November. I don't know that I will host any, but I will be participating in some from other people. I will uh, catch you up. I am not going to be vlogging every day. I am going to try to have a video weekly. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to have two videos for YouTube weekly during NaNoWriMo. I'm trying to catch up. It's been a mess. And there's just been a lot between family stuff and doctor stuff and health stuff. But I'm getting there, y'all. Just bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. All right, y'all have a great one. And I will see y'all again really soon. Bye, y'all.